2018 Honda Pilot Review. The 2018 Honda Pilot is usually a three-row SUV that boasts excellent interior room and comfort. The 2018 Honda Pilot SUV offers quite a bit to offer per searching for a family hauler. It is almost just as much interior room as being a minivan but offers a lot more capability. Available in front wheel or all wheel drive configurations, the Pilot comes standard using a strong V6 engine which enables it to approximately 5,000 pounds which is built tough enough for a lot of light off-roading. At the same time, its comfortable and feature-packed cabin comes with a knee luxury experience at as many as eight passengers. And, unlike some competitors, there's enough room behind the third row seat because of their luggage along with other belongings. Although the Pilot remains a premier choice within this class, there are some minor conditions that potential buyers should be thinking about. Some from the active safety measures like adaptive cruise control, a set around her to the side of caution, causing them to be seen oversensitive. We're not particularly partial to the way the optional 9-speed transmission shifts either. But despite these quibbles, we suggest a test drive in a very Honda Pilot if you are seeking a roomy, comfortable, reliable three-row family vehicle. Notably, we pick the 2018 Honda Pilot as one of best mid-size SUVs and best family SUVs with this year. What's new? The Honda Pilot is unchanged for 2018. The 2018 Honda Pilot comes in five well-equipped trimmer levels built to suit many buyers. The EXL model because of its combination of practicality, comfort and features. Standard equipment with this trim carries a leather-trimmed interior, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, a sunroof, an electrical tailgate, heated front seats and a net-touch sliding second row seats. It also gets the standard 6-speed automatic transmission, which we much would rather the finicky 9-speed gearbox that comes on higher trim levels. Trim Levels and Features the 2018 Honda Pilot is usually a three-row crossover SUV that supplies a good solution to a minivan. It is offered in LX, X, EXL, Touring as well as the Elite Dream Levels. All seat 8 people, aside from the Elite, that has second row captain's chairs that reduce chance to 7. For basic family transportation, the bottom LX Pilot produces a lot of sense. It might be the intra-level trim, but it really definitely isn't bare bones. Standard features will include a 3.5-litre V6 engine 280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque, a 6-speed automatic transmission, 18-inch alloy wheels, aircon, a tilt handless coping leader and a 6040 split folding third row seat. Technology features such as a 5-inch central screen, a 7-speaker head unit, a rear-view camera, Bluetooth, an auxiliary audio jack and also a USB port. If you desire a few more tech and precautionary features, you then should probably step as much as the X. It adds automatic headlights, fog lights, LED running lights, heated mirrors, remote engine start, the Honda Lane Watch blind spot camera. Dynamic guidelines with the rear view camera, three zone automatic climate control, and an electricity adjustable driver seat. Also offered with the X is surely an intelligent traction management system adds a snow mode for your front wheel drive version and snow sand mud modes with a WD, an 8 inch touch screen interface, Honda Link smartphone enabled features with an upgraded 7 speaker subwoofer with two additional higher powered USB ports satellite radio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, and Pandora Internet Radio Control. Although high of its tools are the same as within the X, the XL gets several creature comforts making it worth a good look. It adds a sunroof, an electric tailgate, a noise reducing windshield, a leather wrapped leader, leather upholstery, and a touch sliding second row seats. 
an electricity adjustable front passenger seat, heated front seats with an auto dimming rear view mirror. It also keeps the 6 speed transmission, which is really a bigger part of why this trim level. For some added safety, the X and EXL trim levels both provide you with the optional Honda Sensing package. It adds adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning and mitigation with automatic braking, road departure intervention, and lane departure warning and intervention. The EXL will also be equipped having a navigation system or maybe a rear entertainment system that has a Blu-ray player which has a single overhead screen, HDMI and RCA ports, two additional USB ports for your second row. Second row sunshades plus a 115 volt power outlet. Note that these EXL options cannot be combined with the other. Near the top with the pilot lineup could be the touring model, containing all in the EXL standard and optional equipment plus roof rails, 20 inch wheels, a 9 speed automatic transmission, automatic engine stop start, additional noise reducing acoustic glass for that windows front and back parking sensors, driver seat memory settings, ambient interior lighting and also a 10 speaker speakers. The touring is appealing, sure, and higher the devices are useful, nevertheless the 9 speed transmission is not as easy to experience as the 6 speed. Swinging to the fences, the top off the line elite model adds LED headlights, automatic high beam headlight control, the whole blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert which replaces lane watch, automatic windshield wipers, a panoramic sunroof, heated and ventilated front seats, heated second row captain's chairs which reduce maximum seating to 7 people, a heated tire and HD radio. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically will come in multiple versions, although trim levels share many aspects. The S on this review depend on our full test on a 2016 Honda Pilot Touring W Navigation and Rear Entertainment System 3.5 liters V6, 9-speed automatic, FWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the Honda Pilot received some minor revisions, including the addition of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility in 2017. Our findings remain broadly applicable to the present year's 2018 Honda Pilot, however. With ample power and respectable handling, the Pilot is amongst the athletes inside three-row SUV segment. It's a winner on mountain roads, easily gets as much as speed, which enable it to manage light towing and slippery surfaces together with the optional wheel drive. Acceleration the pilot has an abundance of power, however, you have to dig deep in the pedal to really make it move quickly. At full throttle it shifts decisively, and you will also manually control shifts using the 9-speed transmission. It hits 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds, which can be a solid number for any vehicle of their size. Braking In daily use the pilot's brakes provide solid braking power with an easy to modulate pedal. In our testing, simulated emergency stopping distances from 60 miles per hour ranged from 117 to 120 feet, that's shorter than average. Steering Both ears relatively good precision from your pilot's tire, fears little road feel. On winding mountain roads, it's steady and predictable. What partially hurts the score within this category is its lane-keeping feature, that may be very intrusive in long, sweeping corners. Handling No three-row SUV is light on its feet, however the pilot feels more nimble than most. It swaps lanes confidently, and its stability control remains from exploding during moderately aggressive driving. Overall, handling is above average for that segment. Drivability Some low speed indecision and rough shifts from your 9 speed transmission have become noticeable to your point of intrusion. But the problem is basically at low speed and low load. Nail the gas and also the pilot moves out, 
sometimes spinning its tires at a standing start. Comfort The pilot is usually a very comfortable given its above the average ride quality and seat comfort, plus ample space in second and third rows. Ease of use is extremely high, too, that makes the pilot an expedient and easy vehicle to tolerate. Seat Comfort the wide seats with compliant but supportive backs and bottoms provide hours of comfort. The adjustable inner armrests can be a bonus, as is also power operation and lumbar support. The touring model we tested included heated seats up front along with a second row that slides and reclines. Ride comfort. Body motions are well controlled although not at the sacrifice of ride comfort. Big bumps affecting all four wheels can surprise the pilot, but smaller obstacles are not appearing to disturb the riders often. It's a segment leader on this category. Noise and vibration. Levels of tire and wind noise are low, especially to get a Honda product. The door ceiling is extremely good, and during our tests, we didn't observe any unusual rattles or squeaks. Passengers remain compartmentalized from your outside elements, even over significant surface changes. Interior The pilot exhibits typical Honda efficiency and build quality. Use of space can be quite good with a lot of storage. Practical features for instance the easy entry third row and flat load floor together with the second and third rows lowered really make a difference when hauling cargo and folks. Is beneficial. The infotainment controls are improved over a more mature, multifunction knob design, plus there is an attractive high resolution touchscreen. The lack of physical knobs for most features is disappointing. Also, the push button shifter for that 9 speed automatic transmission takes getting accustomed to. Getting and jetting out. The large doors and modest seat heights increase the risk for pilot and uncomplicated vehicle to go in and exit. Third row access is enhanced which has a single button release for the tilt and slide second row, however the pass-through space in the rear is small. Driving position The pilot's highly adjustable front seats and tilt and list coping controls make it all too easy to find an excellent driving position. The driver's seat is mounted a little bit high for shorter drivers, but otherwise it is a comfortable setup for almost all. Roominess Both the third and fourth rows are extremely roomy with good elbow room, leg and headroom for all nevertheless the biggest occupants. Third row seating is close coupled having a low seat bottom along with a high floor. But there's still enough room for adults on short trips which some competitors can't manage. Visibility For this kind of large vehicle, Thea's average front and rear quarter visibility. The upright seating provides better view than you get within the Honda Odyssey minivan. The multi-view backup camera is handy, while optional front and back parking sensors reveal hidden obstacles. Quality the quality of materials and assembly is high for any three-row SUV in this particular segment however, not substantially much better than what you can find in competitors. Soft touch plastics for the dash along with high gloss trim and matte finish secondary controls appearance and feel good. Utility The pilot is undoubtedly an extremely utilitarian vehicle community. Can tow all these large truck based SUVs including the Chevy Suburban. Its large, well thought out interior proves extremely useful after you stuff it filled with passengers and gear. Small item storage Everywhere in the cabin there are numerous compartments for small items. Up front, a cavernous center console sits between front seats, and big cup holders are everywhere. Bring all of your small items, the pilot has space for him or her. Cargo space. It may well not measure up against a couple of cavernous minivans, even so the pilot is near the top on the three-row SUV segment with regard to total cargo space. 
the fold flat second and third row are really useful for big items, as there are generous storage in the rear load floor for really luggage. Technology Though some controls inside the pilot are reasonably intelligent and intuitive, the active security features are assist in caution which enables it to be intrusive. Also, the possible lack of a volume knob is really a first omission that you should deal with each day. <laughs>